This young elephant has got injured by an explosion in his mouth caused by an explosive bait or a jaw exploder, which has been set up inside a pumpkin or other fruit in a crop field. Elephants arriving at dusk to drink at this reservoir tank can be particularly playful. But a lonely young elephant was spotted exhibiting uneasy behavior in the surrounding area of the tank. After all the other members of its herd had gone back to the wilderness to retire for the night, this elephant remained in the water. It appeared exhausted, and a closer inspection revealed why. Its mouth had been mutilated and swollen. A concerned villager called the wildlife office in the area and alerted the officials about the elephant. During the dry season when food and water sources become scarce in the forest, hungry wild elephants tend to visit the villages bordering to the forest. This is when crop raiding happen, resulting in injuries, even deaths, to these animals and to humans. Wild boars are the big-time crop destroyers and thereby the enemies of most farmers. To prevent the damages they cause, and in some instances to retaliate, people use inexpensive, illegal methods such as jaw exploders or the explosive baits. The elephant is attempting to ingest water, but as it nears its mouth, most of the water spills off due to the injury in its mouth. A team of wildlife officers arrived the location. Their first task was to sedate the elephant. Anesthetic drug was prepared in advance according to the estimated body weight of the elephant. Take a closer look at the elephant's mouth. His tongue is injured and swollen. Luckily, the jawbone has not been damaged. Therefore, we can hold on to hope that this elephant can be completely healed and restored to its normal health condition soon. However, the injured tongue appears to be infected. If left untreated, the elephant could succumb to the infection spreading into its internal organs, potentially leading to fatality. Therefore, infection should be healed to save the life of this elephant. The elephant might have been starving for days due to the injury in its mouth. Therefore, after some inspection, the veterinary surgeon decided to administer saline to the animal before going into any other steps of treatments. An IV line is connected to the most prominent ear vein to administer saline to replenish the lost energy. While the saline is gushing through, the veterinary surgeon is closely inspecting the nature of the injury. He administers some antibiotics and painkillers via intramuscular injection. This will fight against the infection and reduce the discomfort caused by the injury. The veterinary started cleaning the injured mouth carefully. He cleaning the wound with povidone iodine solution. For more effective cleaning, the injured mouth of an elephant with povidone iodine helps remove debris, dirt, and potential contaminants, reducing the risk of infection and promoting healing. Iodine is known for its ability to promote wound healing. It can help stimulate cell regeneration and tissue repair, which is beneficial for the recovery of the injured area. To enhance the efficacy of medication delivery to the wound, the veterinary surgeon employed a medicine infusion gun. The veterinary surgeon performed his job with utmost care and dedication. Now the initial treatment is over. It's time to revive the elephant. It is not advisable to maintain an elephant under sedation for an extended duration, particularly in the case of weakened elephants. There have been reported instances of elephant fatalities attributed to prolonged sedation. The veterinary surgeon injected the revival drug. It took some time for the sedation to wear off. The veterinary surgeon decided that it is better to keep the elephant in a rehabilitation center and give routine antibiotics until the injury and the infection get completely healed.
<clears throat> he gave a call to the rehabilitation center office to send a vehicle to translocate the elephant. They were waiting for the arrival of vehicle. Meanwhile, something unexpected has happened. When the team is waiting for the arrival of transportation vehicle, the elephant has regained its consciousness and hid somewhere. Maybe because he is not familiar with the humans. The wildlife officers together with the civil defense force officers began to search the elephant. Finally, they were able to find him hidden inside a big container box. The team worked diligently to get the elephant from the container box. Subsequently, they conscientiously loaded the elephant into the transportation vehicle. Despite the darkness of the night, after a significant effort, they successfully loaded the elephant onto the transportation vehicle without causing any damage to its body. The plan is to keep the elephant in rehabilitation and give regular antibiotic injections till he is completely recovered. He will be given easy digestive foods until the injury in the mouth healed. The staff in the rehabilitation center is dedicated to look after disabled elephants with utmost care. Let's hope he will recover soon, be well looked after at the rehab, and grow up to be a majestic elephant. Endangered elephants in Sri Lanka have long struggled to survive in the face of threats from deforestation, poaching and a turbulent political environment, but a new and deadly hazard has now emerged. It is the jaw exploder or the explosive bait. Explosive bait is formed of food containing gunpowder and small bits of metal or rock. Packed tightly together, these elements form an improvised explosive device. Once hidden inside the bait, the weapon is left in the forest. When an animal bites down on the bait, the gunpowder ignites, destroying the mouth parts of the animal. For the animals that do not die immediately, severe bleeding and infection are potent risks. Such infections can spread from the mouth all the way down the esophagus and into other organs, resulting in drawn-out and painful deaths. But this elephant was lucky to found a group of saviors and get a timely treatment.